Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Christy Nicola and I work for the Mass Open Cloud. I'm also a core in Keystone and this is... Uh... Hi, I'm Morgan Feinberg. I'm a core in Keystone, I work for Red Hat. And we're gonna talk about seamlessly federated uh, multi-cloud installations. So we, let's start with a really quick level set. Keystone is the core of all identity within OpenStack. And we are dealing, we deal with the upcoming stuff for uh, Keystone's Identity Federation where you have the ability to talk multiple forms of single sign-on from multiple identity providers. So comes from, it allows you to do an identity proxy coming from, say, your Active Directory Federated Services, translate that to an open, uh, an open ID Connect or to a Keystone token that then OpenStack can talk to, depending upon what your service providers need. On top of that, Keystone can provide virtual organization mapping, meaning I have some people from one identity provider from one university, some people from, say, Red Hat coming in, and you add them to a group, and that conveys access to some subset of your service providers and your infrastructure. So, one cool thing about Keystone is that you can federate two clouds together using Keystone as an IDP for one cloud and using Keystone as an SP for the other cloud. And that tends to work really well for identity federation. But what if you want to share something else besides the identity? What if you want to share resources, like have a VM in one cloud connect to a volume in another cloud or have a VM in one cloud be able to boot from an image in another cloud. You need a deeper level of integration between the two clouds to accomplish that, uh, to be able to combine resources in this seamless way. And that for us is very important because uh, the MOC is hosted at the MGHPCC data center, which is a huge cloud uh, it running collaboration between five universities. And these clouds want to be able to collaborate with each other, but also maintain administrative control over their OpenStack deployments. So we need to be able to share resources and share identities while allowing these partner organizations to maintain the control over their own infrastructure. Uh, and to accomplish that, we have a built tool called Mix and Match which allows OpenStack services to consume resources from federated clouds. So as I said, uh, volumes and uh, block storage uh, or, yeah. The way this works is <laughs> you have a, so you have one cloud, which is the BU cloud in this case. Uh, you have a, your normal keystone, your compute, which is Nova, block storage, which is Cinder. And you have one VM attached to a volume. And now you want to collaborate and be able to attach a volume from the Northeastern Cloud, which is partnering with you for this research project. So the way this works is the user comes in and makes a request for Nova to attach the volume, uh, volume two in this case. And Nova makes uh, an API call to whatever service is registered in the service catalog as Cinder. In this case, the service catalog will contain the entry for uh, mix and match instead of Cinder. Mix and Edge will receive the request to attach volume two and will perform keystone to keystone authentication, which is a method of federating identities from one cloud to another. And uh, go figure out where volume two is and then forward your API request to attach uh, volume two and then send the response back. And then through iSCSI, Nova will be able to attach v uh, volume two to VM1 in this case. This also works for images. And there is a, a spec for Neutron called Neutron to Neutron Interconnect, which allows VMs in different clouds to uh, be connected with private networks together without the, the overhead of a VPN connection. So as I said, uh, it's a proxy service. Uh, it's fully compatible with the OpenStack APIs, so we haven't made any changes to any of the uh, OpenStack APIs. It just sits on top of everything. It uses Keystone to Keystone and it can automatically find the location of requested resources among multiple clouds by doing a broadcast search and then caching the location of the resources so it doesn't have to go and look for them again. And it's possible to build extensions to uh, customize behavior. So what are the next steps? So the next steps beyond what Mix Match already, do, Mix and Match already does and what Keystone already does is to allow for providing direct access to services within your cloud to your resources, such as a VM. What if a VM wants to talk to 
a monitoring service and inject data or figure out where it's supposed to log its data, something along those lines, and allow you to provide that level of integration and identity there. Um, it also is providing direct identity to the VM, such as a uh, like a cert or other such data that allows it to talk to other resources within the more global network uh, of clouds, not just its cloud, but in the case of the previous diagram, BUN Northeastern. Yeah. So not only for service to service communication, but also resources will have their own identity, which has been a pain point in, in OpenStack for a while now. How do we have resources have their own identities so that a VM can make use of the resources of the cloud on behalf of the user which uh, spinned it off? And uh, thanks everyone.